Hello and welcome back to my channel. So one of my life mottos is, I like to be cheap, I just don't like to look cheap. And that also applies to my home. So today I'm gonna to be talking about the easy fixes and swaps and updates you can make around your home to make it look nicer, more high end. And look, I don't want anyone to be offended by this video. By all means, you do you. Put in your home what you like, what makes you happy. These are just the opinions of professional interior designers. A lot of these things apply to myself and my home as well. Today I'm doing a new giveaway of more of my favorite things. First, the mattress topper you guys this mattress topper for me has been life-changing and my favorite toothbrush the towel clean electric toothbrush it has a built-in sanitizer it's just the best so you just need to be subscribed to my channel and either save or share this video and leave any comment down below to let me know you've entered today we're going from cheap to chic first thing we're going to start off with is boob lights i feel like a, a very clear visual is probably coming to mind just in case it's not this is what boob lights look like we used to have them in our closets in our hallways and what you might not realize is it's a really affordable upgrade to get a new flush mount light you can just go on amazon or wayfair and search for flush mount light and you will see a ton of different options so i got these pretty crystal chandelier looking flush mount light. And now our laundry room looks so much more glam. My closet looks so much nicer and it was a $90 upgrade. Next up, a rug that is too small for your space. This is actually something that I myself am guilty of in our family room. I didn't know the rule and the rug is too small and it kind of distorts the scale of the room, and it just looks a little shrunken in the space. So the rug rule that the interior designers go by is you wanna look for a rug that's at least six to eight inches longer on both sides of your sofa, and typically you wanna run your rug lengthwise against your sofa. So in our living room, we did it right, and you can see how much better this looks here than our little shrunken rug in the family room. Next is the big old pile of dirty shoes right when you walk in the door. If you have a shoe-free home, there is a chance that you just have a big pile right by the door to let people know to remove your shoes. But to make that look nicer, you can get a little credenza, cabinet for the shoes or even these open style ones. I found this one made of bamboo that just looks a lot nicer than having a big messy pile of shoes right when you walk in the house. And kind of related to that is having your entryway table have a big pile of keys, wallets, other random crap. Even something as simple as getting a nice little display bowl to put everything in. Next up is large empty walls. And I know sometimes large walls can be very intimidating. Specifically for me, where we had a hard time was our stairway. So in our case, we did the wainscoting, which is a great option. I think it looks really elegant and high end. You can even do your own DIY wainscoting at Home Depot. And even on Amazon, they sell the panels. Or when all else fails, do a gallery wall and they now have websites that make it so much easier and less confusing to do a gallery wall. So I will link down below this website I found that makes it so easy to plan out your gallery wall. Next up is clutter. Clutter in the home is just visually distracting. For me, it makes me stress. And what may happen is that a lot of people become clutter blind, like they don't even realize the clutter that's accumulated in their home. So one thing you can do is take a picture of your room and try to look at it and see the things that can be stored, donated, that aren't necessary. You might even want to send that picture to your judgy aunt and have her let you know what needs to go. Oh darling, I thought you'd never ask. This lamp, what did you get this tacky on us? Oh my goodness, this carpet. It's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. I don't even want to be my bottom of my feet. So basically all of it, dear. Let's just burn it all. We need a cover. <laughs> so basically, it's all trash. It's all clutter. Normally I wouldn't say anything, but since you asked, are we having tea? Next up are dying plants or really tacky, bad fake plants. And look, I'm a fan of the fake plants. Plants. I can't keep a real plant alive, but there are better options out there now that aren't those like shiny plastic, you can spot it from a mile away type of fake plant. Like for example, these tulips I always talk about, these 
look shockingly real up close. They even have the texture, they feel real. It really adds elegance and scale to a room by making your curtains longer. Smaller curtains make the window and the room appear smaller. So the trick here is actually to put your curtain rods higher up towards the ceiling and it's going to elongate the look of the window and then let them extend all the way to the floor. Visible cords everywhere is an easy fix and this tends to be something that happens a lot in your desk area, by your bed stand. So what I replaced my outlets with, I found this gadget where you stick it into your outlet and then it has the extension cord so you're able to plug everything in behind your furniture so no one has to see your cords anymore. The wrong lighting can really cheapen a space and there's two main ways that this tends to happen. The first is with overly bright fluorescent lighting that is not easy and pleasant on the eye. So I like to keep the brighter fluorescent lighting for a bathroom, a garage. One interior designer I follow says she likes to go for 2700K color LED lighting for that perfect ambiance, warm glow in your home. The other big lighting issue is looking at your sources of light and making sure that's diffused around the space. So you don't want just one bright light and then dark, sad corners all around. So the easiest fix for this is to put lamps, but my favorite little hack that I did recently is in my faux plants that are in the corners, I got these little spotlights. I put them in there and they're on a timer. So when it gets dark, the corners of the room get illuminated and it looks so much more elegant, not considering scale in general in your space. So if you have a very small room and a huge oversized TV, it might look a little off. Or something that we had in our home, our guest room is a very small room and we had a queen size bed. That's also Ryan's office and it was just not functional, it didn't look look good and it made the room look smaller. So we switched that out for a smaller bed. Ryan now has more room to work. These last two, ooh, I'm calling myself out because I'm guilty of both of these. First, cobwebs. When was the last time you really looked up and assessed the situation in your home? Because woo, it must have been a minute since I've looked in our high up corners because we've got some cobwebs. You know, it's just not a good look and it's a very easy fix. What I did is I just attached a microfiber cloth on the end of an extendable pole and I got up there and I pulled down all these cobwebs that I somehow had not noticed in however long they've been there. It's probably been a while. Dingy stained furniture. It's not about the cost of the furniture, but the condition. And look, I know because I have kids, like most of our things in our home are stained, but it is a good reminder, something that I just was reminded to do. Do a deep clean of your upholstery every so often. We have the couch covers that are removable. We could take to the dry cleaners. You could even schedule a professional cleaning of your upholstery, you know, once or twice a year to freshen it up or just do it yourself. Folex works wonders, but especially before we have guests come over, I like to just go around, remove any egregious spots. And I have to say it makes a world of difference. So those are some very easy to do home swaps and updates to make your home just look a little bit classier. Like I said, I'm still working on some of these myself. So no tea, no shade. These are just the opinions of interior designers. Again, don't forget to subscribe and either save or share this video if you want to be entered to my favorite things giveaway. I'm gonna have all the other details in the description box. And with all of that said, thank you as always so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye. And Helen, where, where do you get your hair done? Oh. oh. You're just gorgeous. Am I, would you say I'm glowing, dear? I just came from the spa. <laughs>